Hi, this is Eric Sloof over at NTPro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own cool web applications using WaveMaker. WaveMaker was recently acquired by VMware through SpringSource and uh, when you visit the website of WaveMaker you will find a download section and this download section is actually offering a WaveMaker Community Edition and it's uh, you can use it for free, it's not that advanced as the Enterprise Edition but you can do really cool stuff with it. So there are some databases supported. And I'm going to show you a demo how you can create an application uh, using WaveMaker. So uh, I already downloaded the Community Edition. And when you install it, in this case it's installed on my laptop, it will show you an icon. And when you double click the icon, uh, a Java instance is uh, started and the WaveMaker software is starting. So the complete WaveMaker interface is offered through your browser. So once the software is started, uh, it will fire up a browser, just like you see, and you have the complete IDA of WaveMaker available within your Internet Explorer. And then you can start doing the cool stuff. So when you start creating a project, you have to click the link, create a new project, and then you have your canvas, your grid available, and you have to choose from a template. And I'm creating my pro I'm creating my project NT Pro NL, and I'm using the default template. Click OK, and then the project is created. And then it will show you the canvas, the grid, and it looks a little bit like uh, Visual Basic. You can see all the objects right here. You can drag a button into the canvas. You can create labels and pictures. And you can go to the source of your project. Then you will see uh, uh, the code that's behind your objects. And there are some real cool things that you can drag into the canvas. Uh, for instance, web content. When I create a Twitter feed right here, then you on the right you will see uh, a properties section and in this property section you can put in all the properties. In this case I'm going to put in my own Twitter ID. But you can also uh, drag uh, an RSS list, a feed list into your canvas. So let's do that. Let's find a real cool RSS feed. I know one. <laughs> and it's available on my homepage. So let's see if we can put in my RSS, RSS feed. Copy it, go back to the, uh, to the IDA, and there is a URL section right here where I can put in the complete URL. So I created uh, a Twitter search box, uh, a feed list, some buttons, some pictures, and it's real easy to, to program to create your own web application uh, within WaveMaker. And once you're done, you just hit the Run button. Your project will be saved. And a new instance of the Internet Explorer will be opened. And you immediately can see what your project will look like on the web. So here's a button right here. Here's my Twitter search box. And here is my RSS feed. Simple as that. So. Create your own programs is as easy as 1, 2, 3 in WaveMaker. Have fun with it. And Eric Sloof is signing off. Bye-bye.